Welcome back to the Evil Within 2. Let's try to find the stable field emitter and turn it on. Jonah Constant. That's his M.O. He's somewhere in here. What's this about? Though these flowers are beautiful, something seems off about them. You have a feeling that you should be extra careful with the thorns. Emerald necklace. This expensive looking necklace features a large gemstone. Ah, yep, they were wearing that too. I guess I need to complete what the is this? tableau or whatever, right? This camera's so old. Must mean something. Rotate? Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, so that's in place, and you're supposed to be facing the camera.
Was that not it? Oh, no, that was it. Oh, that is so cool. It's ticking. The pendulum stopped. A serial killer. Crimson Post article. Another decapitated body found. According to KCPD, the body of a woman was found in Crimson City Park this morning. The victim has been identified as Emily Lewis, an aspiring model and actress. Her head has yet to be recovered, but examination of personal effects found at the scene led to the identification. This is the latest in a string of unsolved homicides of a similar nature. Lieutenant James Van Kirk of the KCPD Homicide Division held a press conference where he confirmed our worst suspicions that Crimson City may be the hunting ground for a serial killer. Emily's longtime friend and photographer Stefano Valentini appeared heartbroken at the news. It's a terrible thing that happened to my lovely model. At least I was able to capture her essence forever before it was destroyed. Okay, well, Stefano Valentini is obviously the murder, the serial killer. I remember this. Still a cold case. Appreciate the art. Fine. As long as it gets me closer to you, I'll play your game. <laughs> Sebastian smells that cotton candy. Mobius agent in the lobby of City Hall turned into another frozen display, poor son of a bitch. If he wasn't dead before he got thrown off of there, he will be if he ever lands. Another one. But what's he after?
too. Scrolled messily on some kind of fancy card. Too beautiful to leave in the street, I had to display them. I wish that I could take credit, but it's nice to know that there are other artists in here with me. Hear something. Also, what the hell is that? I think that's a light that's supposed to be hanging down, but it's bugged in the wall. They're definitely preparing me for some sort of boss fight. What have I loaded up in this thing? Shockers? Alright, good. God, this game is gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, it's just stuck in the wall. <laughs> well, let me try this door first before I activate the thing. Okay. Authorization required. Please connect an authorized terminal. Terminal? Must mean this communicator. No shit, Sebastian. Restart sequence initiated. It's got a timer. This is definitely a boss fight. All right. <clears throat> searching for me for so long so I have come but wait it's not me you seek is it no it's the girl I should be offended but how can I be you're not the only person who wants her power there is another one far more deserving one who can offer rewards you could never imagine. So sorry, but you've been outbid. <sighs> Fear radiates from oh. you. It's beautiful, but not yet finished. I am Stefano, and now you are my art. Stefano Valenti, no way. Son of a bitch! Meet my beautiful Obscura. Okay, this here we go. You've got to be kidding me. Sequence will complete in 90 seconds. That thing is stopping the emitter from activating. Oh. 
Ah. Is it making sexual noises? Oh my god, seriously? Oh, you can break those. They're seriously just making like groaning sexual noises. Would be a good time probably to heal a little bit. Fifty seconds. Forty seconds. Thing. Stable field of error. He's gone. He didn't leave Lily here. Where did he take her? Should give Kibben an update about this. Shit. Maybe I'll get a signal outside. Okay, I didn't like that that boss fight was just a ridiculous, sexy, moaning monster, but the, uh, like, the mechanics of the thing, of trying to, like, stop it so that it stops interrupting the sequence and then you gotta kind of run around, so it's kind of a mixture of, like, running and hiding but also having to actively fight it, and also just the look of the whole room and the boss fight and everything was just really cool. I wonder if there could be new stuff around here. Now that everything's lit up. Aha! Herbs. Social maintenance. 
Social facade maintenance. In order to maintain a conflict-free and ob obeisant? Obeisant? Uh, obedient? Uh, population, we must provide bureaucratic systems and increase the illusion of productivity. To that end, a city hall will be rendered to represent a seat of government. Each citizen will be required to submit for a series of licenses that will require several forms and accompanying fees. Content to be determined. Fabrication team developing now. A mayoral election will be held in which citizens will be able to vote between two operatives of our choice following standard real-world election processes already in place. New union expansion renders will retain the Americana build mold, but retrograded by 30% to allow for citizens' domicile improvement and individualization. These new measures should keep the populace calm and normalized. A docile, a docile populace will aid in the expansion of union, which will ultimately lead to enough citizen memory units to achieve phase two. I can't believe these bastards use Lily like some kind of science experiment. And then they have the nerve to send me in to clean up their mess? It's like some kind of sick joke. I feel like there's probably a hidden idol in a corner somewhere. Or statue, I mean. Oh, this is the main door, I think. thing makes amazing noises. That was beautiful. Damn it. Son of a bitch still has Lily. And now I'm back to square one again. We've re-established contact with the Marker Agent Kidman. About time. Patch him through. Sebastian? Sebastian, are you there? Kidman. Finally. Are you all right? That psycho is still on the loose in here. I turned on the emitter, and that seemed to slow him down. But he got away. And he's got Lily. She must be so scared and alone. Uh, I've got to find her before he does something terrible to her. I'm so close. Oh god, I can smell the cotton I candy, feel it. Kidman. We want to find her just as much as you do, Sebastian. Yeah, sure you do. Don't want your precious experiment to fail. It would be a real tragedy to waste all that time and money. I was speaking for myself, not Mobius. I spent a lot of time with Lily during testing. She's a good kid. I don't want her to suffer. I know things are bad. But I have faith in you. You've got to stay focused so we can save her. Together. Yeah. Okay, you're right. Thanks for the pep talk, Kidman. Don't worry about it. But right now you need to figure out where he took her. He said his name was Stefano. Stefano. Copy that. I'll see what I can find out and send it to your room. Okay. In the meantime, I'll check in with O'Neill. See if he can help me locate this psycho. Sounds like a plan. Let me know if I can be of any help. And... Sebastian? Yeah? Good luck. Thanks. 
Gotta figure out where he took her. Think I might have just figured it out. Not doing a very good job of hiding. It's almost as if he's taunting me. Well, if it's a fight he wants, he's gonna get it. I just have to find my way there. O'Neill, it's me. I see the stable field emitter is back online. Please tell me you found the core and you're on your way back here. Sorry. That lunatic still has her. But I think I have an idea of where he went. Yeah, I see it too. I'm picking up the signal again, but now it's coming from the theater in the other part of town. Right. Through the marrow again, I guess. May need a little guidance here. I'm on it. Looks like turning the emitter back on stabilized some passages there. Exit D5 looks to be the one closest to the theater. I'm not totally sure what you'll encounter down there, so watch your back. At this point, nothing would surprise me. Wonder how long this game is. Let's do some shooting before I continue on. So finish that, finish that, finish that, and maxed it out. Let's do hard. Weapon parts, herbs, and green gel. All right. Christ. Whew, how did I get it? Hell yes. <laughs> was that a high score? Oh, it was. 3,500 green gel, 75 weapon parts. That is so good. All right, we are definitely due for an upgrade. Well... Uh, yeah, actually, let's go here first, because I think I'm going to open up a locker? Or am I? I can never remember whether I have a locker key. But if I do have a locker key, then I may get more weapon parts. Relax, detective. How may I assist you? Yeah, got one key. Sn oh, sniper rounds. Nice. Okay, what shall I go for now? I've got so many good stealth skills. The only thing I can do at this point is just make less noise. But that doesn't seem to be much of a problem, to be honest. Like, I kind of want them to investigate me a little bit, because I've been using that to get stealth kills. So I don't place much value in that. Stamina would be nice. Increase stamina gauge maximum. That'd be pretty huge. I'm going to do it. Alright, now let's go. Upgrade our weapons. Hundred and twenty-five. Can't do anything too dramatic with that. Definitely no fire powers. Maybe fire rate. about the fire rate of the shotgun? Ah, oh, right, I have no high-grade weapon parts. Capacity of the shotgun would be good. Yeah. Okay, gonna head back into the marrow.
This must be the passage O'Neill was talking about. with my mind. Good ammo pouch. 38 rounds. Oh shit. Hi. <laughs> They're in sync. Weird, I don't seem to be getting the prompt to uh, do the am- or not the ambush, the predator ability. I'm not seeing a red thing pop up. For a second I thought it was snowy and icy, but no, that's definitely not from cold. Whoa. What the hell is this stuff?
<laughs> it's all sticky, I guess. Sebastian doesn't want to walk in it. Can't blame him. Society abducted Lily and staged her death. Do you realize how crazy that sounds? But it's true. Why can't you understand that? I know it's hard to accept Myra, but she's gone. Our little girl is gone. But I have proof. Look, Myra, you're obsessed. You need rest. Once you get past this, you'll learn to accept. No, no, I'll never accept it. If you won't help me, I'll find out the truth on my own. Myra, you were right all along. But, but why am I seeing this now? type of enemy? A goo monster? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that, that's so cool. That is so cool looking. Good God, look at the size of that thing. Maybe I can sneak past it. So, should I not attempt to kill it? I could just not attempt to kill it. Maybe... Oh, that looks so cool! I just love how it looks. Yeah, I, I don't know if it would drop goo or anything. Okay, I'll try to sneak past it. Thank you for moving that. out of here. This feels like a boss fight arena. I've got no shockers left. One exploder. Oh, shit. 
are gonna burst I through. This place was supposed to be fucking stable. Oh, okay, it wasn't a boss fight, just a little mini encounter. Yeah, so much for stable, huh? Get attacked by a milk monster. Looks like someone's enjoying the show. Placement protocols. It is imperative that a missing core be replaced as soon as possible. A core that has been missing for even a few hours can affect STEM programming. If the core is missing for over 36 hours, emergency protocols must be instituted in order to prevent the core from escaping. Emergency protocols are only accessible for Mobius operatives with Alpha security clearance and can only be viewed on the Marrow servers. Someone's been watching. Lily. Whoever's been here was gathering data on her. Don't move. You're Mobius, right? I Shut up! <clears throat> Don't say a word! You're not one of us. No, I'm not. Kidman sent me. Look, I'm here to help, okay? My name is Sebastian Castellanos. You're lying. Sebastian Castellanos is dead. What? No. W who told you that? Turn around. Do it slow. You're Yukiko Hoffman. How do you know my name? I told you. They sent me in here to find my daughter Lily. The core. I'm telling you the truth. I know. You do? Yeah, I just wanted to point a gun at you for fun. Lack of micro-expressions and deflection. No verbal parroting. I've seen enough to know you're telling the truth. Right. The team psychologist. I have to use whatever tools I have to survive. Combat isn't my forte. Seems to be a running theme here. Sorry for pointing my gun at you. So they're sending independent contractors now? That means things aren't improving. Have you found any other team members? I have, but the only one I've found alive is O'Neill. Liam is alive? Good. Has he made any progress on stabilization? The big emitter's back on, but this place is still falling apart, and I think it's all because of this psycho that kidnapped Lily. He's running loose in Union, and can manipulate this place at will. That means my theory is correct. This is more than a core disconnect. We doctors don't like to use the term psycho in pejorative terms. But in this case, it's apropos. Only a clinically diagnosed psychopath could affect STEM like this. A psychopathic personality type using Lily to amplify his power. This is the worst possible situation. You're a shrink. Any suggestions on how to defeat him? Psychopaths are antisocial, lack empathy, and exhibit sadistic tendencies. But their main commonality is their pathologic egocentricity. They don't care about people, only themselves. Can you think of anything that would be important to him? Yeah. 
He thinks he's some sort of artist. It's all he talks about. Then maybe the best way to attack him would be through his art. Destroying something valuable to him could knock him off of his guard. I'll keep that in mind. But I've got to get to him first. He's holed himself up in the theater. Right. So exit D5 then. It's right here. Just in the next room. Let's pair our communicators so that we can stay in touch. I'll review my files and see if I can't dig up any more information about what's going on. I still feel like there's more to this. Regardless, he's probably going to be difficult to fight. Feel free to help yourself to anything here you might need. Maybe if I leave him a nasty deviant art comment, I'll hurt his ego. So does Lily really think I'm dead? Or was that just a part of your lie detecting test? Sorry to break it to you, but she does. I thought it was the truth, too, until just now. But over the years, I've learned to take everything Mobius tells me with a pinch of salt. It wasn't difficult to see you were telling the truth. Why would they do that? What kind of monsters do you work for? I know it's not right, but consider this. Lily is probably less traumatized by thinking you're dead than by thinking you're alive, but she can't be with you. Yeah, maybe. But what will happen when I finally find her? Don't worry. She'll believe the evidence of her eyes once she sees you. If Mobius knew to keep psychopaths out of STEM, then how did one end up in here? I don't know. Every individual in STEM was subjected to a battery of psychological exams prior to placement. And we've been observing them from here, in secret, to keep an eye out for mental instability. Yeah. Well, that didn't work. Unfortunately, psychopathy and sociopathy are incredibly difficult to diagnose correctly. Psychopaths tend to be cunning and highly intelligent. Aware of their own diagnosis, they're able to disguise themselves among us. The fact that this one was able to fool us? He's obviously adroit and self-aware. Disturbingly so. Great. So the tests only filtered out the weakest of psychos. I feel terribly responsible for all of this. I helped devise those tests. You said you think there's something more to this? I studied the Beacon incident extensively so that we could avoid another disaster like that. In that case, the person in question was the core. But even then, the environment remained relatively intact. Something just doesn't seem right here. What do you mean? The creatures in here. The dissolution of Union. The total breakdown in communication with Mobius. It just seems like a lot for one person. Even with the power of the core. He mentioned someone before. Another person who wanted the core's power. That could mean... No. It's too horrible to contemplate. What? There's only one thing that could be more powerful than a psychopath in here. But I need to do some research before I can commit to the theory. Could you tell me what it is? Because it's obviously true. Alright, what do we got? Don't need coffee. Core candidates. Regarding Lily Castiano's initial findings. The ideal core candidate must have an unfettered ego in order to retain their own personality while supporting the interlinked minds of many others. Given these parameters, there are only two possible candidate types. Egomaniacs with psychopathic tendencies, or children. We all know what happened the last time an egomaniac with psychopathic tendencies when was in STEM, so a child is our best bet. Having access to standardized school test results, we were able to narrow down our options. We feel that we found the ideal core candidate in Lily Castellanos. Her tests show that she not only has a guileless ego, but she also exhibits incredibly advanced empathy for a child her age. We are sending her to Dr. Hoffman for further testing. Oh, that's the exit. Ah. Oh, that's exit D5. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to go through exit D5 and continue looking for Lily.